Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Impact7, today I'm going to play in F1, this is my team series, we're at the Belgian Grand Prix, this is episode 10, I'd like to thank everyone who's watching right now, we really do appreciate it, please don't forget to hit that like button, share, comment and subscribe, really really appreciate our road to 2,000 subscribers, if you want to keep up to date my latest information, please follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Discord, links all for you as usual are in the description box down below, also please don't forget to hit that notification bell, just so you can keep up to date my latest content. As you can see on screen right now, it's the drivers and constructor standings. Uh, let's run through the top 10. Lewis Hamilton is in first place. He's been able to extend his lead over his teammate. He's got 175 points. Valtteri Bottas is in second. Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez in third and fourth. Lando Norris and Daniel Ricciardo, the McLaren pairing, are in fifth and sixth. Fernando Alonso in the Alpine is in seventh. Pierre Gasly is in eighth. Uh, his teammate Yuki Tsunoda is in ninth and tenth place is Lance Stroll. Um, and then I'm in 13th place with 12 points. I have been ever since I got... Um, that fourth place, um, quite surprising fourth place, I might add, in Canada. Um, in moving over to the Constructors' Championship now, Mercedes are leading as you'd expect, considering they have um, the top two positions in the Drivers' Championship. Red Bull are in second, McLaren third, Alfa Tari fourth, Aston Martin fifth, Alpine sixth, Ferrari seventh, Impact Racing eighth, Alfa Romeo ninth, Haas in tenth, and eleventh is Williams. So that's both the constructors and drivers championships 31 percent on the internal combustion engine 59 percent on the kinetic 17 actually so that's good uh 12 on the motor generator unit heat 24 percent on the energy store that's not bad uh 32 percent on the tur turbo charger that's fine as well and then control electronics on 39 percent so that's good gearbox 48 percent not too sure about that. Will I gain a penalty? Yes, I would. So I can't change that. Um, 99 when it comes to me and my rival, Esteban Ocon. So, as usual, um, qualifying is going to be full. And then the race is going to be 50%. Unfortunately, with the qualifying, it looks like it's going to be drying and moving over to wet conditions. Um, don't need to do practice free. So let's skip over to qualifying. Here we are in qualifying, and already we have an issue. Um, lubrication system fault. Oh boy. Information time, we've lost oil pressure. Looks like a leak somewhere in the system. We're on standby for the time being until we can patch it up. Lovely. Great way to start off a race weekend. All right. So as usual, my car set will be in the description box down below if you wanna use it feel free or if you're just interested in taking a look it's in the description box okay so uh it is going to rain at some point during this qualifying session so i'm going to get out there nice and early oh one thing i do want to do actually is make sure i've got the least amount of fuel on board as possible there we go all right so here we go here we are in qualifying one my flying lap Ran a bit wide there. Not too bad so far. This is a tricky corner. Didn't run too wide, which is good. Got a car in front of me. I think I may be able to catch the car in front of me here. The straight line speed is supposed to be pretty good. It does feel like I'm catching him as well. Mazepin. Lost the back end slightly. And across the line, fourth place ahead of Raikkonen, ahead of Carlos Sainz. That's very surprising. I had 0 0.18 laps of fuel left, so I was pretty close to going into low fuel mode, but I'll take that. Here we are at the end of qualifying one. Daniel Ricciardo, first place. Wow, very surprised about that. Eight thousandths of a second quicker than Lewis Hamilton. 
Um, I'm in 12th place, which is good. Okay, that's good. So I got through to the qualifying two. The first six cars I met in qualifying one. My teammate got 17th place. That's not bad. Shows he's improving. So Callum Eilot in 17th, Antonio Giovinazzi in 18th, 19th is Mick Schumacher, 20th is Nikita Mazepin, 21st is Jules Russell, and 22nd is Nicholas Latifi. Let's get to qualifying two. Here we are in qualifying two, coming up to the end of my flying lap here. As you can see, it's raining. I'm not too happy about that. If it was in dry conditions, I was expecting to get into the getting to that 11th place, possibly even into qualifying three, but right now I'm struggling to get the power down. I'm at 40, 1 minute 54 zero. Surprisingly enough, quicker than Raikkonen. Very surprised about that one. Yep, I'm very surprised about that one. Don't think there was pretty much. I don't think there was any way I could improve, to be honest. If I could qualify 11th, that'd be great. But there's so many other cars that need to go before before that happens. All right, I don't think I'll go out again. Um, should I change? Should I get fresh components? That's the thing I'm thinking about right now. Should I get fresh components? Let's speed things up a bit. 15th place, I don't think I can improve. I'm not too far behind Alonso, but... Yeah, you know what? Let's change those components right now. As well as the gearbox. There we go. Alright, so I've changed everything, so obviously that means I'm going to start at the back of the grid. But this is a track that you can overtake on, and obviously um, the car feels pretty good around here. So I think I can make up some places, but let's see how things go. Let's get to the race. Here we are on the grid for the Belgium Grand Prix. Let's have a look at what we got here. So 22 laps. We're going to start on the soft tyres, move over to the mediums. Uh, looks like we're going a bit longer when I personalise the, uh, the strategy. I have myself one lap of extra fuel. Um, my car setup should be fine. Okay, so 22nd place. Have a quick look at the uh, grid now. So comes up to 16th. That's not bad. If he can do something there. Uh, the two Ferraris, 7th and 9th. Lewis Hamilton in 1st. Valtteri right Bottas, 2nd. The McLarens are doing very well this season. Okay, so let's get to the race. Two lights, three lights, four lights, five lights. We are racing! Mm, initially a good launch here. Which I've dived up the inside of quite a few cars here. I think I'm next to my teammate right now. Yep, there he is. Got a good drag there. Should have a pretty good top speed. Getting on him already. Activated. Overtake here. I am gaining. Slowly. But I am gaining on him. Make sure I make the corner. There we go. Pretty happy with that. Good start. The 16th place ahead of my teammate, ahead of Kimi as well. Ocon is my rival right now, so I do need to make sure that I get ahead of him. I think I turned in too early there. I think that corner is the most difficult for me because I have to break precisely, otherwise. I just lose so much time. Oh, why did I go so wide? Why? Gonna need to use overtake to catch up a bit more. Feels like I'm gaining on Giovinazzi quite quickly here. Actually, I am doing that. I am gaining on him quite significantly here. Is he gonna go defensive? No, he's not. 
on, don't hit. Oh, come on. Right, pretty good first lap. Getting quite a few positions here. Got Ocon next. Dive bomb. There is contact between me and Ocon, but should be fine. So far, so good. My top speed's helping me out nicely here. Oh, Geo's going after Ocon. Okay. That'll help me out. We are on lap three. Pick close to the back of Alonso here. I am gonna get DRS as well. Alonso gets it as well. And I am gaining on him, but not significantly enough to try and overtake him. Not gonna try a dive bomb. Oh, we're gonna cover a bit too much. Car got a bit unstable. Right up Alonso's gearbox here. Uh, those, those, that corner there was not good. Funny enough, the pack's really close together still. I think the reason why that is, is because I think Ricardo's leading this race. Ooh. Are you okay? Wow. That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't hit someone there. But that's not surprising, I went too far wide there. It's really annoying. Right, there's one flashback. And you've got one more, and then whatever happens, happens. Getting on Alonso here. Was that a bit of a wobble from Alonso? It did look like it was. There's been an incident on track, but officials aren't looking to push for a safety car right now. Just be careful. Gotta give him enough space. There you go. Made sure I gave Alonso enough space to make the corner still. I do have to be careful. Alonso might try to overtake me here. Oh, he's definitely going to be within the RS range. Definitely. Oh, here we go. Alonso's going to get me. No chance of fighting him. I don't want to use up all my overtake as well, so... Damn. It's a bit annoying. Six, still behind Alonso. We have been able to catch up to the cars in front. We've got quite a queue. Looks like the Ferraris are leading this train. Oh my god, almost lost the back end. Too far behind to catch Alonso here. We're pretty much in the DRS train now. So many cars in front, each getting DRS. I'm going to have to be really, really close to Alonso to try and overtake him now. I think my top speed is better than his, but I still need to be closer to him than what I was. So much more speed there. Whoa, I was going to lose it. Might have an opportunity here to pass Alonso. Scratch that, I will have an opportunity. Oh, Alonso went a bit wide there. Oh, a bit of a dirty. 
bit dirty there from Alonso. He was defending. Made sure I squeezed him out as well, though. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Right, so approaching the pit window now. When do I pit? Lap nine. Okay. Just two more laps. Should have enough space to Alonso to where I'm not in danger of being overtaken by him. So that's good. Oh my god. No matter what corner it is, no matter what curb, you can just be spun out so easily. Nine. Coming to the end of the lap. This is also the lap we're about to pit, so let's see where they come out. Let's see if we can get a good pit stop here from our pit crew. I'm hoping we do. Right behind Vettel and Carlos Sykes. Callum is in the pits. Callum in the pits. Oh, my teammates in the pits as well. Oh, that's not good. Complete. Go now. Two point eight. Not too bad. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. It's Shinoda. It is Mazapin. Got our head of stroll. Caution. Caution. Well, oh, someone's slow. Is that a Ferrari? It is a Ferrari. It is a Ferrari. Color Science. And I did just overtake someone as well. <laughs> the tenth place is mine. Color Science is out. In a very dangerous place as well. So me staying out has definitely helped me a bit. Oh, oh, oh. I get Mazepin. Oh my god, I thought Mazepin was going to turn in on me. Like what Verstappen did on Hamilton. Except, I thought I was the one who was going to spin out, not Mazepin. Currently in ninth place, very happy with this. So far, so good. Oh, going to run wide. Good thing there's not a gravel trap there, otherwise I would have been in trouble. It's an Odo on hard tyres. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Come on now, I've got a brand new set of mediums here. There should be no excuse for me not to catch him. There's a sizable gap to Leclerc there. Seven seconds, damn. Lewis goes quickest. Getting on Sonoda already. Looks like Sonoda had a bit of a back end issue there. The safety, car. The safety car. Really? Cars being on track. Oh man. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low and we risk a penalty. Slow your pace All right. Safety car. Not too sure what for, but okay. I guess it might have been for Sanks there, but I'm a bit surprised. Alright. Here we are on lap 13. Still behind the safety car. It is coming in this lap. Here we go. This is about to restart here. I want to get Sonoda as quickly as I can. Try and get on the back of the clerk. I should have the advantage. I'm on medium. Sonoda's on hard tyres here. Here we go. Good acceleration for Sonoda there. Keep it up. I did not expect such good acceleration from Sonoda. Come up to a rouge. Just looks overall, the Toro Rosso is a better car than mine because it pulled away quite a bit there. I just realised I'm in a Alpha Tari sandwich right now. So there's teammates right behind me. Right through the corners, I should have the advantage here. Seems in a straight line, aside from the DRS. He's got the handle on me. Oh, wait a minute, yellow flag for some reason. What just happened? Okay, clear. 
Another yellow flag. There's someone spin off. What's going on? I can never take that corner properly. Always feels like I have to hit the brakes there. Pig Gazzy's out. Oh no. Sorry to hear that, Pig Gazzy, man. He's going to get some points as well. Alright, let's see if I can get Snow to hit. I'm getting on him nicely here. This might be a chance. This might be a very good chance for me. I am using ERS. That's a slightly left off there, otherwise, I would have caught him during that bend. I'm side by side with him. Gonna have the inside line for the next part of the chicane here. Got him. Yes. Okay, eighth place is mine. Very happy. Set a personal best time as well. That's what I like to see. I don't think Darius is enabled yet, so that's good. Oh my god, the back end. Whoa. Oh no. I think Snow is gaining on me. Okay, not enough to overtake me though. Whew. Going through a rouge, you gained on me quite a bit there. Hoping I should be able to pull away from him a bit now. Here we are on lap 17. Come up to lap 18. Very close to the clear now. Could use a bit of ERS to gain on him even more. Come on, no mistakes, no mistakes, no mistakes. No back end, what are you doing? Ah, oh, Damn it, man. We're catching the car ahead, but be aware that these tires need to last till the end of the race. Damn it, man. I was really close to him as well. Six tenths behind him, going through a rouge. Might be a bit too far ahead for me. Let's see. I'm getting on him rather nicely here. Is he going to go defensive? He's not. Oh, yes, he is. Oh, look, that was a bit dirty. That was a bit dirty. Kept on moving. Kept on moving to the right hand side even when we were about to get to the corner. Didn't scare me enough though. Up to seventh place. I think this is as far as I go. So this isn't the end between me and Leclerc here because he's right behind me. Might be able to pull away a bit here. Because it's going to get DRS. We're increasing our gap on the car behind by around a second a lap. Yeah, right. My own engineer is giving me false information. Ridiculous. Alright, I'm going to stay ahead of the clue here. Looks like I've got enough space here to me and the clue. five laps of fuel remaining. Okay, gap ahead is 3.6 seconds. Perez ahead. Our gap to the car in front is 3.6 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tires are eight laps old. The time last lap was a one minute 44.8. You're losing around three tenths a lap. Three tenths. That's not bad considering I'm racing the Red Bull. I'd actually take that. We are at the end of lap 20. Close right behind me here. This is going to be a tough one to keep him behind. Using a bit of ERS. Oh, he's 
right behind me here. Oh, went into the grass a bit. Just gonna sail by me. Oh, I did tap the clear there. I need to stay with him if I want to try and get back that seventh place. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Yeah, this is quite a bit of fuel. Does it that with me hitting the clear? It has damaged the car a bit because I'm getting quite a bit of understeer. Car just doesn't want to turn in anymore. Come up to the final lap as well. Considering I started at the back of the field, the fact that I'm in eighth place, pretty good. Final lap of the race. Okay, the car behind is catching you by five tenths a lap. Five tenths. Yep. I don't think I'll be able to catch Leclerc here. He's almost a second ahead of me. My car's not that quick. Wide. That's probably going to cost me. I'm a second behind now. Oh, yeah, it's done. I lost the back end there. We have two laps of fuel remaining. bit disappointed okay was able to overtake me and pull away but I'll take eighth place eighth place is a good result Hamilton wins not too surprised there Leclerc takes seventh and I take eighth that's the end of the race we'll see you in Park Fermi The Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic performance today. They should be proud. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came out of that situation in a good position. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Hamilton, Bottas and Ricardo, top three. Oh, we have Lewis Hamilton won, Valdo Bottas got second place, he got the fastest lap of the race. Daniel Cardo third, Max Verstappen fourth, Lando Norris fifth, Sergio Perez sixth, La uh, Charles Leclerc seventh. I'm in eighth. From 22nd to eighth, I got driver of the day. Very happy with that. Lance Stroll from 11th to 9th. Uh, Yuki Tsunoda rounds out the top 10. Then it's Sebastian Vettel, Fernando Alonso, Esteban Ocon. Antonio Giovinazzi from 17th to 14th. I think that's pretty good. Uh, Kimi finished where he started in 15th place. Mick Schumacher moved up from 18th to 16th. Um, Nick 
Nikita Mazepin moved up to 17th place. Uh, George Russell moved up to 18th, 19th place. Is Callum Eilot, my teammate, he moved down. Um, he, I'm very disappointed in that. Nicholas Latifi in 20th place. Pierre Gasly and Carlos Sainz both got um, both retired from the race. Lewis Hamilton was able to extend his lead. Um, he's now 32 points clear. We've moved up to 12th from 13th, which is good. We're now level on points with Carlos Sainz. Uh, no other changes in the driver's standings. In the constructors now, um, no changes at all, to be honest. Um, other than the fact that Mercedes increased their gap now to 119 points. Okay, so that's going to be the end of this video. I'd like to thank everyone who's watched. We do appreciate it. If you want to keep up to date with my latest information, please follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Discord. Links will be as usual in the description box down below. As I have now, please don't forget to hit that like button, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you again tomorrow for my live stream, which will be Rocket League. Have a good day, everyone. See you again tomorrow. Laters.